Okay, yes, I know, I know, the comparison, the first test was, was not fair, but I think that this is more fair. So what we have here, the diameter of this is eight inches, and your blade is, uh, let's see, thir four, 15 inches. Mm. So it roughly half the size of the blade, I think, which is a, which is a good representation. So what we're gonna do, and I mentioned timer, we don't need a timer, because we're both cutting at the same time. Right. It won't be a timer. Uh, so I'll go on the uphill side. Do you need a little WD-40? I'm good. Okay, so we've got an eight inch log. What do you think is gonna happen here, Brian? I think it's gonna be a lot more even. I think you're right. I think, uh, I think it's possible I might get this one. I, I would have to agree with you. We'll find out. We'll find out which is more efficient. You know, and actually, this size log for a lot of log building, and especially in the East Coast where the trees are not super big, mm -hmm. would be a, a real, I mean, this would be a real good representation of the size that would be used for bridges or cabins or all sorts of things. Oh, yeah. You're not typically going to have those big West Coast logs. All right, no knots underneath. Oh, hold on. Nope, no knots. All right. Ready? <clears throat> I am ready on your call. Count right. down. Three, two, one. Oh no, I lost the curve. Wow, that is interesting. Oh, I was going as hard as I could. I was running out of gas at the end of it. Oh, me too, I was losing it. So what, was there one second difference? It was pretty close, yeah, about a second. And if I might've, it might've been even if I hadn't stopped and switched. Because I was right to the end, I was like, oh, I can't keep doing it. Oh, you this. switched your hands. I switched my hands. I just didn't have it anymore. So who do you think's working harder with these two saws? I'm inclined to say I'm working harder. <clears throat> I think so. You know, because you can put more of your body into the stroke, you know, whereas me... It's all in the arms. It's all in the arms. So. Yeah. The, the back saw, it's a momentum, it, it, you have the whole body is moving. That, you're confined to your, your arms. However, that's a whole lot more portable. Yes. A whole lot easier to maintain and cheaper. And uh, I'm surprised. I. Uh, that they were so close. Yeah. Oh, I thought I had that one for sure. So they make a big one of those with a full length handle. It's even bigger called the, I think it's called the Katana Boy. Maybe you've seen it? No. I'd be willing to bet that might outcut a buck saw. At least on these size logs. On the yeah. smaller stuff, I had, would have to agree. Well, the, is the kerf thinner, do you think, on the Japanese saw? They are, yeah, yeah, I think they are thinner. What would you say? Are you looking at that? Let's Probably see. maybe a. Oh, yeah. H half or a third? Yeah, probably about a half. So the Japanese saw about a half the thickness. So the question is this. If you were going to have to go out and be like Dick Pranecki, build yourself a, a cabin in the remote wilderness of Alaska, what would you take? A chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let's say if you had to take, had to take a, a manual saw. If I had to saw. take a manual saw. Well, okay, well, assuming it's Alaska and assuming the size trees are going to be about this. Yeah. I mean, this is a heck of a lot more portable. But I think I would not take this one. I think I would take that saw. Just because you can use more of your big muscle groups to do the cutting. Uh, the saw's got more weight, so you can let the weight of the saw do the work, guide it down through the kerf. And I think overall, yeah. it's going to be more efficient. Yeah, it is. Plus, you have the ability to, to cut a big stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and it's going to be user serviceable if you take the time to learn how to, to file cross-cut saws. Those, I mean, I, I see people on the internet and say, when I say you can't sharpen those, and there's always someone that says, oh, yeah, I sharpen mine all the time. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, there may be a few guys that dedicate their life, you know, to doing that with the files and all that. But for the common guy, uh, you're not going to sharpen those saws. They're, um, they're, it, I just don't see it happening. They're tiny and they're so close together. I mean, yeah, you know. and then it is critical um, 
yeah, it's, it's not going to happen. I, I've yet to see anyone make a video showing me that they could sharpen one of those. I just don't think it's possible for most people. All right. Well, uh, Brian and I are going to get to work on the um, on the single log bridge. Uh, we thought this would be kind of a fun little test to see, um, and then uh, we'll we'll bring you guys along on the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the thumbs up.